I'm Adil Kumar. Here are four questions for you to practice multiplication and division of fractions. The strategy here is to simplify and then multiply the fractions. So the strategy here is to simplify and then multiply. So let us do them one by one. 14 over 15 times 10 over 21. We can divide these by 7, right? 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. These two could be divided by 5. 5 times 3 and 5 times 2. Now, we can multiply the numerators. 2 times 2 is 4. Denominators, 3 times 3 is 9. And we get the fraction in the lowest terms. Do you see that? So that is how you should be doing. Let's do one more. Uh, 12 and 24, you could divide them by 12. 2 times 12 is 24. 15 and 25, 5 times 5 and 5 times 3. And now when you multiply numerators, you get 3. Denominators, you get 10. So that is your answer. Right? 27 over 35 times 25 over 36. You need to do this. 5 ending means that these could be divided by 5, 5 times 5, 5 times 7, right? 27 we know can be divided by 9, right? So 9 times 3 is 27 and 9 times 4 is 36. Now they cannot be reduced further. At this stage, multiply the numerators, 5 times 3 15 and the denominators to get the final answer. So that is the step involved, okay? Next one here is 81 over 100 times 75 over 108. We could divide them by 9. 9 times 9 and 9 times 12, correct? Okay. These could be divided by 25. 25 times 3, 25 times 4. We do have a common factor here. 3 times 1 and 3 times 4. And now 9 times 1 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. So we get our final result as 9 over 16. I hope with this you must have got a feeling that it is not that difficult to multiply fractions. If you simplify them first, it is really simple. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.